He's not your typical MC or co-host. To say he's different is an understatement. So, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Eric Zuli.
this is this is one of the areas that did his uh, the Dungeon performance on stage. And it was crazy. People were standing up over stand up over. Alright, you have any over here or Get him a red wine. Yeah, I don't know about you. I don't know about you. For the uh, Operation Healthy Africa. Yes. It's really cool. Yeah, he did a dance. Uh, he did a song. Uh, the audience is saying we're going to do this right. We're going to contribute to it. But anyway, I'm filming this. Let me get this. It's my left hand shake. Everybody feels the same way as you. That's a good one. We're going to raise some money. And that money is going to fund medical missions throughout Africa. Because that's what operation health is all about. All right. Well, you know, uh, Michael, we can And uh, another purpose we have here tonight, you know, we want to celebrate the achievements of Health Operation Healthy Africa. And we want to recognize some key individuals who contributed to all the success. And they've been around for three years. And Operation Healthy Africa has treated over 13,000 patients. You with that? 13,000. All right. In all the various parts of Africa, and among which, you know, they have 139 blind and partially blind individuals, and they help restore their eyesight. You believe that? Oh. They help restore their eyesight after being blind, and there's so much more to be done. That's right. Uh, one of the things we found out is that there are uh, 1.4 million blind children in the world, and one quarter of them are in sub-Saharan Africa. But I guess you would say the tragedy is that 70% of it, 70% is preventable. And again, that's what the mission of Operation Healthy Africa is all about, to uh, make that information known, but to do more than that, to do something about it. Yeah, we can also, uh... How about the malaria? You know, it's, it's, it's simple and preventable illnesses. And it kills over one to three million. It's been killing one to three million a year. And there's over 90, you guys ready for this? 90% in Africa are children. Children. And a child dies of malaria every 45 seconds. So these are some of the challenges that Operation Healthy Africa has to face. So you know what, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, it gives me really, really, really great pleasure because I've had the opportunity of meeting this gentleman, hanging out with him, getting to know him, his team, his family, his wife, Dr. Dapo, 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 Papula. I, I, I told you I messed that up, bro. Dapo, Papula. Uh, we traveled to uh, Bombo, Uganda, 
where we treated uh, close to 6,000 children and uh, individuals suffering from all kinds of illness. Tonight, we are celebrating the success of what we have accomplished in 2011. And also tonight, we like to give you the impression that we are doing something in Africa because of you, because of your support and your donation. And we'd like you to do that again tonight, to, gener to generously donate and support us. Because the event tonight might be a party for some of us, but to some children in Africa who are dying of simple preventable illnesses like malaria or cholera, this is a, this is a big item line for them because of your donations. Your donations make it possible for these children to receive medications and uh, to uh, live a normal life like, uh, like you and I. And also, too, some children at this particular uh, point are almost blind because they have cataracts, which if we don't get to them on time, they will get blind. So we appeal to you tonight to generously donate and, and help the cause, and I, and I trust that that is the reason why uh, you came out tonight. Your generosity will be providing un unprecedented opportunities uh, to save lives and put smiles on, on the children of Africa. The success of our operation Healthy Africa is due to a lot of key individuals uh, who are uh, with us tonight. And I'd like to call uh, uh, a couple by the name of uh, Rob uh, Sherman and uh, uh, Christine Willard. Uh, they will come forward and uh, come 